Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on-the-fly review for you, and today I'm talking about Jumanji, the next level. Uh, this film is directed by Jake Kazan, starring Danny DeVito, Danny Glover, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Karen Gillan, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Nick Jonas, uh, and Alex Wolf. The uh, whole setup here is this is the third Jumanji film, but this is a direct sequel to the 2017 film Welcome to the Jungle, which was insane sleeper hit. I mean, just kind of just came out of nowhere and made a fortune. Um, now, the original Jumanji film came out in 1995, starring uh, Robin Williamson, directed by uh, Joe Johnson, based on the kids' book. I can't remember who. I, I hated that book when I was a kid. I thought it was just, uh, I don't know, just... I just didn't like it. It was just such an obvious d telling kids not to mess with things they find in their house kind of story. <laughs> um, but with Jumanji, uh, 95 is a terrific movie. It was a really, really fun movie. It's not great, you know, sure, but it's uh, it, was, it was really good. I remember liking it a lot when I was a kid. Uh, big fan of David Allen Greer my whole life. Uh, yeah, it's, it was a good movie. I definitely recommend you seeing that. And the 2017 film was also really good. And I gotta say, this, uh... <coughs> excuse me, this new flick is, uh... Lives up to the standards of the previous films. The whole setup here is, it's, uh, a year or so after the events of the last movie. I'm probably just gonna call it the first movie to save confusion here because it is a direct sequel to that. Um... The, uh, which was more of a reboot than a straight sequel or remake, even though it, it, it does take place in the world. Alan Parrish was also here. Anyhow, um, uh, and, you know, the kids are kind of, they're separated, and our main kid, Spencer, who was The Rock's avatar, and who was, who had the avatar of The Rock in the last one, um, he's, uh, he's, he's kind of down in the dumps, depressed, uh, feels like he doesn't have any worth, and kind of misses the adventure. He literally has the same exact character arc as Shia LaBeouf in Transformers 3. I don't know, I don't think that was necessary. They could have come up with a better reason to get the kid uh, back into the game. So eventually, yeah, the main kid goes back into the game alone. And worried about him, his friends decide to follow him in, but the game is busted. It's not working right. Uh, instead of taking in the kids, it takes in the old folks, Danny Glover and, and Dana Vito who is DeVito's, the old kid's grandfather, and Dan Glover is his old business partner, and, uh, yeah. And, of course, Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson are terrific playing Danny Glover and Dan DeVito. Um, I thought it was smart how they're playing the characters that DeVito and Glover are playing, and not just trying to do an impression of those two guys. Um, once again... Jack Black steals this movie. He just, he ran away with the, with the first one. He was by far the best thing about the movie, and there's there's no difference here. Uh, I love the, the, the visual effects in the film, how it it, it looked uh, 3D and photorealistic, but at the same time still very much had the movement and feel of a video game. Um, I thought that was great. Uh, I liked... I liked where they took the characters. I liked how the kids grew, and uh, I liked the 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 arc of Danny DeVito's character, who's kind of this this bitter old man, just kind of counting down the days he got left. And by the end of the the story, no, 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 life life is an adventure. Uh, I'm quoting Peter Pan. Anyhow, uh, I'm giving it four stars. Four stars, easy. This was an incredibly entertaining movie. I had a great time watching it, and I would recommend it to anybody. Watch it with your kids. Watch it with your parents. Uh, Jumanji, the next level. Four stars. Hell of a ride. I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.